हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सोनू यादव टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रिथ्रोपोइसिस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू वॉट इज रिथ्रोपोइसिस सो फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल्स इज नोन एज रिथ्रोपोइसिस इट इज नोन एज रिथ्रोपोइसिस बिकॉज रेड ब्लड सेल्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज रिथ्रोसाइट so formation of red blood cell or erythrocyte is known as erythropoiesis now normal red cell count in males is 4.3 to 5.9 millions per microliter and in females it is 3.5 to 5 millions per microliter now coming on to the some facts regarding red blood cell or erythrocyte the red blood cell or the mature erythrocyte it is a nucleate structure it means it has no capacity to synthesize protein so it has limited metabolism survive only for 120 days and its normal shape is biconcave it has central one third pallor size is slightly smaller than nucleus of a small lymphocyte on the basis of this property it is divided into nomochromic hypochromic and hyperchromic it contains hemoglobin and major role of rbc is to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide always remember the mature red blood cell is a nucleate that it has no nucleus all the red blood cells they are produced in the bone marrow from the they are generated from the hematopoietic stem cells this is the common originator of all the blood components that is rbc wbc and platelets all these help in red blood cell production that is metals vitamins amino acids and all this process is regulated by erythropoietin which is mainly produced by kidney now coming on to the stages of development of mature red blood cell they arise from hematopoietic stem cell in the bone marrow it give rise to proerythroblast that is the first cell in the red blood cell series this will give rise to basophilic erythroblast how to memorize these three stages you can memorize it by bpo that is b for basophilic erythroblast p for polychromatophilic erythroblast o for orthochromatic erythroblast these three stages have other name also basophilic erythroblast also known as early normoblast then polychromatic erythroblast also known as intermediate normoblast and orthochromatic erythroblast also known as late normoblast so the stages are first stage is proerythroblast it will give rise to basophilic erythroblast then polychromatic erythroblast then orthochromatic and then this will give rise to reticulocyte and then finally the red blood cell is formed 
now coming on to the characteristic feature of all the stages the first stage is proerythroblast the size is 15 approximately 15 to 20 micron and always remember as we move towards the mature form size of the cell decreases size will decrease so proerythroblast the first stage the size is approximately 15 to 20 micron and now the nucleus the nucleus is large it contain immature chromatin now what is chromatin chromatin is a complex of dna and proteins which form chromosome in the nucleus and it contain multiple nucleoli as you can see this white spots these are nucleoli and this is the round large immature chromatin in the nucleus and the cytoplasm is basophilic this is the cytoplasm and it contains no hemoglobin very important proerythroblast does not contain hemoglobin hemoglobinization is not started so the next stage is basophilic erythroblast basophilic means the cytoplasm is basophilic that's why this stage is known as basophilic erythroblast the size is 14 to 17 micron it is decreases as compared to pro erythroblast the nucleus is large it has fine chromatin less number of nucleoli they reduce and they are barely visible as you can see this little white spot the cytoplasm is basophilic still there is no hemoglobinization now the next stage that is polychromatophilic erythroblast this is the stage at which hemoglobinization start that's why this stage is known as polychromatophilic because of hemoglobin the color of the cytoplasm become polychromatic that is pinkish bluish that is many colors that's why it is known as polychromatophilic the size further decreases it is between 10 to 15 micron the nucleus is slight reduction in size there is no nucleoli nucleus condenses chromatin clumps and the cytoplasm is polychromatic that is shade of pink and blue and it is the stage where hemoglobinization starts now the next stage is orthochromatic erythroblast the size is 7 to 10 micron orthochromatic erythroblast the nucleus is small dense pycnotic and eccentric as you can see in this diagram the nucleus is small dense pycnotic and eccentric and the cytoplasm is polychromatic and it has high hemoglobin content it is the stage where nucleus is eccentric and it is extruded outside now the next stage is reticulocyte this stage in the these reticulocytes can be visible with the help of supravital staining for example commonly used is methylene blue the size is 8 to 10 micron and remember they have no nucleus cytoplasm is polychromatic and you can see this dot like structures these are the remnants of rna in the reticulocyte they also contain hemoglobin remember you can see the reticulocyte with the help of supravital staining that is 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल मिथिलिन ब्लू and in these you can see this blue dot like structures these are the remnants of rna it is the stage in erythropoiesis which has no nucleus at this stage there is no nucleus and this reticulocyte would give rise to mature rbc which is biconcave in shape and central one third is pallor no nucleus and its size is further decreases it is approximately between 7 to 8 micron the cytoplasm is pink and hemoglobin is present so these are the stages of development of rbc that is pro erythroblast basophilic erythroblast as we are moving towards the mature form you can observe in the figures the size is decreasing and the cytoplasm is converting from basophilic to eosinophilic pinkish and the nucleus is extruded out at the orthochromatic erythroblast stage so what are the changes during erythropoiesis that is formation of red blood cell there is decrease in size loss of mitotic activity and hemoglobinization it start at the stage of intermediate normoblast that is polychromatic erythroblast change of cell shape that is from globular to biconcave this is the normal shape of mature rbc and as we move towards the mature form there is dips appearance of nucleus mature rbc is a anucleate structure that it does not have a nucleus and there is change of staining of the cytoplasm basophilic to eosinophilic now what is dyserythropoiesis as the name suggest it is this defective erythropoiesis which lead to formation of abnormal red cells these red cell that is abnormal red cell either destroyed in the marrow before their release or enter circulation but have a shortened life span this erythropoiesis leads to the formation of abnormal red cell these are the example of abnormal red cell that is there is nuclear budding in the rbc premature nuclear extrusion intranuclear bridge basophilic stippling of the cytoplasm hovel jolly body in the red cell and others karyorexis multinuclearity karyorexis is breakdown of nucleus megablastoid change ring sideroblast cytoplasmic vacuolation these are the pictures showing some abnormal red blood cell this is nuclear budding there are various buds in the nucleus this picture it is showing intranuclear bridging bridge between the nucleus it is showing cytoplasmic bridging between the rbcs this is showing karyorexis breakdown of nucleus and dots various basophilic dots these are basophilic stippling and this is bilobation so these are few example of this erythropoiesis that is abnormal red cells so today we have studied 
erythropoiesis that is formation of red cell so what are the stages proerythroblast then you can memorize it as bpo basophilic erythroblast polychromatic erythroblast orthochromatic erythroblast reticulocyte and finally the mature red blood cell which is a nucleate structure and normal shape is biconcave central one third is paler normal life span is approximately 120 days so this is all about today's lecture that is erythropoiesis